It's 10 trivia questions on stinky stuff. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and pee. You and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Just had me a Power Aid, which, according to the bottle, has 50% more electrolytes than the leading sports uh, drink, which I think means Gatorade. So I've got some energy and I'm burning it off by recording a stinky episode of the show. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews, telling a friend who loves trivia to give this show a listen. We have this round with 11 questions on. Um, Stuff that stinks or things to do with the word smell or nose or odor, etc. We'll get to that in just a few. And right now, we are going to dive into a Geek Out Challenge card. Geek Out Challenge cards have five challenges. And you can write these down. You can yell them out loud if you're playing with somebody in a car. You can uh, try and outbid each other. So if it says name two of something, you can go, I bet I can name four. And then somebody goes, I bet I can name six. And then they have to do it. So whatever you want to do to make it fun, that's what this is for. Here's the Geek Out Challenge card for today. Name two James Bond movie titles for television. Four shows on which a character has been played by more than one actor. For literature, four titles in which a character can fly. For music, six songs with a celestial body in the title. And for miscellaneous, two celebrities with law degrees. All right, those were kind of fun. And somebody on YouTube commented that they liked on the 90s super episode where I had five rounds of 90s trivia that I actually answered those questions at the end of the episode. So um, I may do that from time to time, but I uh, I thought that was funny that they liked that. They said it was like I was playing along with them. So that was cool. Uh, thanks for checking that out. If you missed the super 90s episode, just search 90s trivia with buds or go to iTunes and scroll back a little bit. It's about 30 minutes long instead of the usual five or 10. And there are over 54 questions to answer all about the 90s. You could play that whole trivia night out loud at home like you were at one of my bar or brewery trivia nights in Tennessee or California. Another quick thing, uh, Wits and Wagers. We did an episode on last week. Uh, Some people loved it. Some people hated it at my live nights. But a little bit more fun for the podcast probably to guess those impossible to guess questions. Um, I did go to, I think it's North Star Games. Uh, they're the company that makes that uh, that game. And there's three different versions of Wits and Wagers. And there's this one that I don't have called It's Vegas, Baby. Uh, it's not all Vegas themed, but uh, maybe the betting is different or something. But you can download all the questions um, for some of these other versions of Wits and Wagers for $10. So I got this whole 18-page PDF of Wits and Wagers questions. I'm just putting that out there for maybe other trivia hosts who listen or people who have one set of wits and wagers games uh, questions and they like want uh, more questions but they don't want to buy a whole nother board and chips and all that stuff Uh, and here's one quick one it says uh, emperor penguins uh no what is that nope that's the answer all right here we go here's the question um in minutes how long can an emperor penguin stay underwater in minutes how long can an emperor penguin stay underwater the answer is 22 minutes 22 minutes. Emperor penguins have been recorded fishing at a depth of 1,854 feet. That's crazy. And that's uh, wits and wagers. So you would bet on who gets the closest to that number. All right. We are going to jump into some stinky trivia right now. Hope you enjoy it. Get ready to plug your nose. Here we go. It is trivia that stinks. These questions are foul. Number one, which Looney Tunes character didn't appear in the Space Jam sequel due to his controversial history of unwanted romantic advances? Number one, which Looney Tunes character didn't appear in the Space Jam sequel due to his controversial history of unwanted romantic advances? Number one. Question number two, after slicing open an alien creature called a Tauntaun, which character said, I thought they smelled bad on the outside? Number two, after slicing open an alien creature called a Tauntaun, which character said, I thought they smelled bad on the outside? Number three, comprising three oxygen atoms, which molecule is named for the Greek word meaning smell? Number three, comprising three oxygen atoms, which molecule is named for the Greek word meaning smell? Smell? 
Number four, what South Park holiday character is first shown hopping out of a toilet to talk to Kyle? Number four, what South Park holiday character is first shown hopping out of a toilet to talk to Kyle? Number five, what nine letter well-known stinky cheese from Germany and surrounding countries has been produced since the 15th century? Number five, what nine letter well-known stinky cheese from Germany and surrounding countries has been produced since the 15th century? Number six, Smells Like Teen Spirit was on which Nirvana album? Number six, Smells Like Teen Spirit was on which Nirvana album? Number seven, what sitcom character could be seen singing a song she wrote called Smelly Cat? Which sitcom character sings a song called Smelly Cat? Number eight, Al Pacino won a Best Actor Oscar for which film of 1992? Al Pacino won a Best Actor Oscar for which film of 92? Number nine, petrichor is the smell after what? Petrichor is the smell after what? Number 10, Loaded Diaper is Greg Hefley's brother's band in which kid's book and movie series? Number 10, Loaded Diaper is Greg Hefley's brother's band in which kid's book and movie series? And for two points, to close out Stinky Trivia, an anatomic structure in the nose, which divides the nose into left and right sides, is called a what? Number 11, an anatomic structure in the nose, which divides the nose into left and right sides, is called a what? Those are all your questions for Stinky Trivia. We'll be back with the stinky answers right after this. <laughs> We are back with the answers to Stinky Trivia. Let's see how you did. Did you get all 10 or 11 questions correct? I hope so. And if not, maybe you learned something fun today. Number one, which Looney Tunes character didn't appear in the Space Jam sequel due to his controversial history of unwanted romantic advances? Pepe Le Pew. A little too handsy. Pepe Le Pew. Number two, after slicing open an alien creature called a Tauntaun, which character said, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Han Solo and the Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars. Han Solo. Number three, comprising three oxygen atoms, which molecule is named for the Greek word meaning smell? Ozone. Ozone. Number four, what South Park holiday character is first shown hopping out of the toilet to talk to Kyle? Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Mr. Hanky. Number five, what nine letter well known stinky cheese from Germany and surrounding countries has been produced since the 15th century? Limburger. Limburger. Number six, Smells Like Teen Spirit, was on which Nirvana album? Never mind, never mind. Number seven, what sitcom character could be seen singing a song she wrote called Smelly Cat? Phoebe Buffay on Friends, Phoebe. Number eight, Al Pacino won a Best Actor Oscar for which? Hua! Film of 1992, Scent of a Woman, Scent of a Woman. Number nine, Petrichor, The Smell After Rain, that earthy smell after rain. Number 10, Loaded Diaper, Greg Heffley's brother's band in which book? And movie series, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, my daughter Annabelle, second grade, and she's got um, three, three or four books left. She's on the 13th book of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And I liked reading when I was a kid. There's no way I would have read a book that big in second grade. So I'm very proud of her. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And number 11, for two points, an anatomic structure in the nose, which divides the nose into left and right sides, is called a what? Septum. Septum. If you can't beat them, septum. That's what I say. It's on my license plate. Uh, thanks for listening today. Hope you had a good time uh, playing along and maybe got uh, 12 out of 12 points on that. That would be kind of fun. You can brag to me on social media at Ryan Buds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com anytime to let me know what you think of the show. And I usually will ask for your address to send you some swag, maybe a signed Sharknado picture, maybe a t-shirt, maybe a bookmark or magnet. Email me anytime with your address, RyanBuds at gmail.com and I might hook you up. That is it for today. We've got a fact of the day. The fact of the day is about Florida. Once a year, thousands of Floridians stand at the state line and toss dead fish into Alabama. It's the annual mullet toss hosted by Florabama Beach Bar in Pensacola. I want to throw fish at Alabama. That sounds real fun. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with this guy. Cheers.
Oh, 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 oh,